This is the third video from Human Body Test and we will talk today about hip mobility. But if you haven't done lower body basics, I recommend you to stop this video and check the other one. Also, if you haven't watched yet Human Body Test Mobility 1, which refers to shoulder and thoracic spine, check it out. The links are somewhere here to all these videos or in the description below. At the end of each video, I am explaining what to do next according to your scores. I am Basha and this is Human Body Test Hip Mobility mobility. Sit straight, bend the knees and bring the soles of your feet touching against each other. Bring your feet as close to your pelvis as possible. Press the knees down. Full score is when your knees are considerably lifted, your back is rounded, you feel very stiff and uncomfortable in this position. You have an average score when you are able to keep your back straight, but your knees are still far away from the ground. And an excellent score is when you are able to bring your knees on the ground or almost on the ground, your back remains straight and the position is comfortable. Full scoring in this test indicates low mobility of your hips and pelvis and tightness of your inner thighs. This test reveals flexibility of main hip internal rotators, including tensor fascia lati, pectineus and gluteus medius. It also stretches inner thigh muscles and in some extent gluteus maximus and minimus. Bring the right foot under the opposite knee. Without changing the position of the right leg, bring the left foot over the right knee. Now let the top knee drop down as close to the right foot as possible. Full score is when you cannot get into the position and if you manage to put your left foot on your knee, you compensate the movement by lifting your pelvis. Average score is when you are able to get into the position and both sitting bones remains on the ground. You have an excellent external hip rotation when your knee almost touches your toes, the gap is around one fist, or when the knee drops fully down and reaches the opposite foot. Remember to do this exercise on both sides to check eventual disbalances. The limitation in this movement may lead to anterior pelvic tilt, decreased lower back stability, back pain and hamstring injuries due to constant pressure on this muscle. Lean back and support your torso on the elbows. Keep your shoulders down and the neck long. The pelvis stays on the ground, the knees remain bent. Take one step outside with the left foot, keep the opposite knee in the same position. Stabilize the pelvis and bring the left knee as close to the ground as possible. Don't lift your buttock or allow your knee to go to the side. Keep the knee straight and in alignment and the whole butt on the ground. You have a poor score when your knee drops just few centimeters, the distance between the knee and the floor didn't change much, and your hip feels tight and uncomfortable. You have an average score when the distance between the knee and the floor is halfway. It is around 45 degree of hip internal rotation. If your hip internal rotation is bigger than 45 degree, you have an excellent score. This means your knee is slightly above the ground. Remember to also test the right hip internal rotation and check the disbalances between the legs. Full scoring in this test indicates tight external hip rotators, including gluteus maximus, deep six lateral rotators and sartorius muscles, also a hip flexor. It can lead to back pain and ischiatic pain. Internal hip rotation is important for better strike, run, jump and squat. Lay down on your back, bend knees, keep your lower back flat on the ground. Grab both knees and pull them towards your chest as close as possible. Without changing the position of the left knee, extend the right leg. Do not force the movement, keep the right leg relaxed. The most important in this exercise is to keep the position of the bent knee. Full score is when your lower leg is lifted and it's difficult to keep it straight. You have an average score when your right heel touches the ground but your knee is still bent. An excellent score is when your lower leg is straight and relaxed on the ground. Remember to perform this exercise on both legs. This test shows the anterior and posterior movement in your hip. 
If you feel a lot of tightness in the bent leg and it's difficult for you to bring it to your chest and hold it there, your hip extensors such as gluteus maximus are tight and hinder the mobility of your hip. However, if it's not the bent leg that makes this exercise difficult to perform, but it's the straight leg that pulls and cannot touch the ground, your hip flexors are shortened and require stretches. For most of you who have a poor score in this test, both legs will feel stiff and it's a good sign to start working on your hip mobility. From the kneeling position, bring the left foot front. Keep the knee above the ankle. Place both hands in the line with your front foot. Stretch the back leg. Bring the right hand to the side. While the right arm remains straight, your left elbow bends and reaches the ground. Focus on sinking the chest down towards the floor. You have a pull score when your left shoulder remains above the left knee and the elbow is far away from the floor. You have an average score when your left shoulder drops to the level of your knee or below, however the elbow doesn't touch the ground. And an excellent score is when your elbow touches the ground. Remember to perform this test on the other side. This exercise greatly reveals the flexibility of the main hip flexor iliopsoas. The score of this exercise can be also affected by the flexibility of the main hip extensor gluteus maximus. If you have a pull score in this test, most probably you have a tendency for anterior pelvic tilt, which can lead to back pain, hip, knees, hamstring injuries and feeling stiff. If you found this video useful, share it with your friends and family. Also, I have created a PDF with all these exercises which you can print and have them all available anytime. There is more explanation also about the muscles. You can find this PDF on my website trainwithbasha.com now let's talk about what to do next according to your score if you are a senior and you have average or excellent score it's perfect if you are under 40 years old or you are doing sports it's good that you have excellent scores so if your score is poor or average you should start working on your hip mobility so i have created six weeks mobility program that you can find on my website trainwithbasha.com it's for free and remember all the process of gaining mobility is the same as gaining strength. It takes time. So if you have never really stretched or do any of these positions, it takes a while till you feel comfortable and you see the progress. The most important is your constancy. Thank you so much for joining me today and see you in the next video.